Hey, everybody. Thanks for coming to my uh, TV channel. <laughs> you know, I'm always trying something new. But uh, in this video, I wanted to talk about uh, patience, empathy, understanding. And um, I've learned to be patient and uh, have empathy for people that are uh, normally would irritate me. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why. Well, first of all, here, if you've seen any of my uh, videos about driving in traffic, you know, the people turning in front of you and and stopping, you know, right away, stopping in the middle of the street, uh, you know, I could go on and on, but that's okay. But I want to tell you a couple of stories that uh, helped smooth out all my rough and uh, grumpy edges. I uh, was born in one town and about 20 miles away, I, uh, I got a job and I was teaching. And of course my family was in the was in the first town. So I would, oh, probably two, three times a week, you know, go and visit my mom, dad, brothers. So, uh, and many times at night. Well, I'm sure uh, many of you have had this experience that you're coming down, there's a car coming towards you with his bright lights on. I just, so I would blink my lights real quick and his bright lights stayed on. So I says to myself, I'll fix you. So I wait till he gets fairly close and then I turn on my bright lights. Huh? I had to fix him. So this happened a few times. And then one day, I was starting to go to town. I go go to actually the name of the town is Tulare. I don't know why I'm hesitant to <laughs> say that. Tulare, California. And I worked in Porterville. So I was going to Tulare, or I was starting to go. It was night. I turned on my lights, they were on bright, and I put them on dim, didn't go to dim. My dim lights were broken. No, you know what that means. I gotta drive 20 minutes with my bright lights on. Oh, you talk about eating humble pie. I would drive, sure enough, a car would come, blink his lights at me. And I, first I didn't do anything. I just kept driving. Then, you know, he would honk or blink. And then I got about halfway there and I said, you know what? I'm gonna try my dim lights. And I would try it and the lights would go off. Like no lights, like I turned off the lights. And then I turned them back on real quick. So as soon as I possibly could, I got those headlights fixed. But I had to do that two or three times and I realized, you know what? <laughs> I'm not gonna be so upset at people that have their bright lights on. I'll make a quick blink just in case they had, didn't realize it. But if they don't do anything, then okay, that's fine. So that's one story. Another story, Gloria and I, when we first, uh, when I first retired, we moved to Mexico because I lived in Mexico when I was a kid with the family, and so I spoke Spanish fluently. and And I told myself, I always, when I retire, I want to retire to Mexico. So after I retired, we did move to Mexico. It was uh, San Miguel de Allende, uh, right central in Mexico, and uh, there's a lot of expats there, a lot of retired people. But Gloria had a hard time. Uh, walking the streets because they were cobblestone streets. I loved it there and she just, well, that's another story in itself. But uh, after a year, we decided to move to Ensenada, which is in Baja, California, which is not, of course, it's right near the California border. 
my daughter lives in uh, San Diego. So it was easy for us to, uh, to visit her. Maybe once every couple of weeks would drive, you know, from Ensenada up to uh, up to San Diego. Well, I had this old car, and uh, I thought, you know, it's running kind of rough. So I took it to a mechanic. Well, before I, I took it to the mechanic, I bought a set of. I looked up what type of spark plugs it should have, and I bought a set of spark plugs, eight of the V8. And I took it to the mechanic and I said, here's a, a new spark plugs, just put these in. So he said, come back in a few hours, which I did. I came back, <clears throat> I started it up, all the smoke came out the back. I thought, what? It's peor, it's worse. He said, no, he says, it's just clearing out the uh, carburetor, clearing out the pistons. Okay, so I drove it home where we lived. Man, the smoke was just coming out. I'm thinking, man, I, I don't know about that. But we were scheduled the next uh, day to go visit uh, Tammy in San Diego. So in Mexico, they didn't make a big deal of <laughs> smoke coming out of the cars. So I wouldn't. Uh, so nervous there, but I know in California, woo, it's a big, big fine and a big violation to have a smoky, smoggy car on the road. So I thought, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? And of course, I, I thought back to the times when I would yell and think negative thoughts and honk at cars that I saw smoking when they were, you know, in California. So I thought, oh boy, now I'm one of them. So I knew I wasn't going to get one mile with that smoky car. So I thought, you know, I'm going to go <laughs> in the middle of the night, like a thief in the night. And I noticed that it was, uh, it bellowed out more smoke, you know, going up an incline. Well, it's fairly, going from Mexico to California, going across the border, it's fairly flat. So uh, anyway, uh, so as far as timing, I did, I said, one o'clock in the morning, it's gonna take two hours to get there. Oh, wait a minute, no. I remember now I was going up into Tulare, which is central California, it was like four or five hours away. So, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna leave at midnight. And uh, sure enough, you know, of course, dark. I left, got through, a pass, you know, got from Mexico into the California, no problem. I was just kind of giving a little bit of gas. <laughs> so uh, anyone that has driven that route, Highway 5, there's what we call the grapevine. It's a uh, mountains between LA and the Central Valley. So going up the grapevine, going up that incline, oh, I so I, I was going slow, I was pulling way over and I had my head hazard lights on because I wanted people to know, you know what? There's something wrong with this car. That's why I had my hazard lights on. So going up the grapevine and then of course going down, it wasn't bad, but then going across the valley, it was not too bad. But one time it'd go up, I just said, please, please forgive me. It's not my fault. I had the spark plugs changed. Ah, I felt so, so humiliated. I took it to a mechanic the next day in uh, the valley. And he said, man, these spark plugs are all old, different brands. I said, what? I gave him new spark plugs. He said, well, these are new. <laughs> these are eight old, worn out spark plugs with different brands, different sizes. He said, man, no wonder it, it even ran. Oh. So, of course, I was mad at the mechanic. But uh, 
I was so humiliated and humbled having to drive with smoke billowing out my car, which, oh, I just, I felt so bad. So I told you those two stories because now I'm a lot more sympathetic and empathetic uh, to people that are driving and just not doing the right thing because, hey, you know, <laughs> I know what it feels like. So well, that's all I wanted to share with you today. And uh, I hope you have a great day. I don't know about this television setup, but I uh, thought I'd try something new this time. All right, y'all. Take care and catch you next time. Bye-bye.